What's up, this is Naked Eli, the Mostly Unclothed Gamer, bringing you a legendary speedrun guide for High Charity, the second to last mission in the entire Halo 2 campaign, and the most random at that. Starting off, we're going to noob combo the sword man and pick up the sword. Sometimes he's the second guy there, in which case you can just take him out if he doesn't have a shield. If not, the sword is not essential. You can still run into this room, do these jumps. The slide jump will help you get through here before the brutes see you. Sometimes the brutes shoot at you, sometimes they don't, sometimes they kill you, sometimes they don't. Uh, to make it safer, you could obviously clear everything in these first initial sections, but if you're going to be doing speedrunning, I highly recommend that you practice the route that I just showed you. You can usually just run past the brutes as they're, they're walking right next to you, and you either die or don't. It's like a 50-50 shot. Now we're going to take the lift up. There's going to be a beam rifle right here. We're going to use the beam rifle to take out however many drones are flying to the right and left. It's a random number that spawns left or right. I usually start by looking left and positioning myself in the left of that hallway so I don't get knocked out of scope by the guys on my right. And then there will be immediately a pack that flies out of here. And if you do it all fast enough, we get that sexy double killionaire. Next, you can use the beam rifle, take your time to kill that brute. I highly recommend you kill him before starting this journey over because this way it doesn't activate the flood forms that are there. If you kill all the drones and kill the brute early, then these guys come out really, really late and you can usually just wait on this platform until the portal brings you over. I like to throw a plasma to weaken any flood in the front that might have shields and shoot at their heads which are sort of on their chesticles uh, in case they don't have shields and you can kill the front line easily. Now this part's kind of risky, you want to either jump over them or slightly to the left and if the guy in the back is far back in the pack then you can sword to him. And you just jump over the middle here, hope they don't shoot at you. You start to strafe a slight left and right if they do start shooting at you. And then immediately head to the left here. We hope that there are no brutes here. If there are, you can usually stick and run past them or sword them twice. Try not to let them melee you. Otherwise, there might be grunts. Just sword the grunts down. You always want to kill that last flood form running out the door because otherwise he'll chase you and alert the enemies in this next room every time. Now here you want to turn off your flashlight because that tends to awaken the enemies here and it's a random position where they all spawn. So sometimes they just will always see you and other times they won't see you and you can just run this path directly through. Uh, sometimes there's also a beam rifle jackal in that room, there usually is, so look out for him. I turned around in that particular instance to look for that jackal and kill him before he killed me because he's usually on that side of the room. Now this part, we can just beeline it straight for the rocket flood. He's going to be up here. If there's any flood that get in our way, just sword them. You hope that the rockets don't fall down, and then you can just jump straight to the left from that top platform, right past these two rocks that I just passed. But if the rockets do fall somewhere, you absolutely need them for clearing the next section, so make sure you grab them wherever they are. Now we're going to come up this elevator. You're going to notice that I'm going to start pressing the right trigger really quickly and just smashing my sword as fast as I can. What this allows us to do is basically we're supposed to hit a checkpoint. You can hit a checkpoint at the bottom of this elevator and close to the middle of the elevator or close to the top of the elevator. By doing this and letting go right about here, I don't do it in this video, I go a little too long. But right as the elevator slows down, if you stop, you'll hit a checkpoint. This is one of the hardest rooms in the entire franchise. So you want to move left, rocket whatever groups of enemies you see left. Pray you don't get sniped by the beam rifle jack. Well, notice he missed me there. And then you want to kill at least two of the three brutes so that the other, third one will berserk and not shoot at you. Then you can just run on past. You, sometimes the enemies on that side that I'm looking at right now will run across and then you can use your sword to take them out or stickies. But you want to be reloading and using all of your rocket ammo. I should have mentioned that uh, it's random whether you get three rocket shots or four rocket shots from the rocket boy. Right here we uh, can pick up a skull. If you hold down the button to press things or pick up things, then you'll pick up a skull on the way up this uh, this little portal elevator. It doesn't have any in-game effects. Um, it's not like the original Halo 2. In this game, Master Chief Collection, if you pick up a skull, it does not activate mid-game. That actually has caused problems with the Envy skull um, in full game run-throughs. Anyways, so here we're going to run towards whatever side the flood are on. It's 50-50, whether they're left or right. And then here we're going to want to look to snipe the Beam Rifle Jackal. You can also snipe him much earlier if you're more comfortable with that. And then once you get off this platform here, that's the end of the mission. There's also a strat to run along the top of that green thing if you turn around and jump up on the box. But it's riskier in MCC, so I just recommend the route I showed you. So I hope you guys enjoyed one more episode of Halo 2. Great journey. I'll see you then. Peace.